Winnie Ewing was a remarkable woman whose achievements left an indelible mark on the history of Scotland. Born Winifred Margaret Ewing in 1929, she dedicated her life to the cause of Scottish independence, playing a trailblazing role in the Scottish National Party. In November 1967, her sensational victory in the Hamilton by-election sent shockwaves through the political landscape. Winifred Margaret Ewing, Scottish National. 18,397. And altered the course of Scottish political history. Winnie Ewing's success paved the way for continuous SNP representation in the House of Commons from that time, signalling a resurgence of the independence movement and laying the foundation stones for the reconvening of the Scottish Parliament. The Scottish Parliament adjourned on the 25th day of March in the year 1707 is hereby reconvened. Her famous declaration, Stop the World, Scotland Wants to Get On, echoed her vision for an independent Scotland and captivated the nation. Today, our hope and our collective work to build that better independent Scotland still rest on Winnie's words. Throughout her many decades in political and public life, Winnie has tirelessly advocated for Scotland's interests, fighting for those she represented in Hamilton, Murray and Nairn, and throughout the Highlands and Islands. She raised Scotland's voice at Westminster, in Europe, where she became the much-loved Madame Ecos, and in the Scottish Parliament. And Winnie Ewing's legacy extends far beyond her political achievements. She was a trailblazer for women in politics, breaking barriers and paving the way for future female leaders. Her dedication, her energising charisma, and her love for Scotland continue to inspire and shape the pursuit of Scottish independence. Today, we remember and celebrate Winnie Ewing, a true pioneer and champion of a free, independent Scotland. Each of us stands on the shoulders of giants, and Winnie's legacy will live on forever. Together, let's work towards and let's win Scottish independence. For Winnie, for all those who are no longer with us today, for our children, and for future generations to come. Thank you, Winnie, for everything. I would like to end by quoting from the debate of 1707, and I've chosen a passage from Lord Belhaven, who was an opponent of the treaty, and this is what he said then. Show me a spurious patriot, a bombastic fire eater, and I will show you a rascal. Show me a man who loves all countries equally with his own, and I will show you a man who lacks any sense of proportion. But show me a man who, while he respects all countries equally with his own, yet is ready to defend the rights of his own against them all, and I will show you a man who is both a nationalist and an internationalist. 177 was said to be, was it not, the end of an old sign? Well, we all here together can begin to write a new Scottish song, and I would urge all of you to sing it in harmony fortissimo. Thank you.